Salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm Lord Forund, of course. I'd be surprised if you were watching this video and didn't know who you were watching, although you might have gotten an autoplay. If so, thanks for being here, but I highly doubt it. Um, we're still in the Lord of the Rings, the Realms in Exile mod, and we are working on gaining control of the Grey Mountains, which is this northern mountain train up here, which actually we can already create the title of um, once we get another county. Uh, tolerance of Sinners, I guess. We are currently working on of improving Moria as well as our colonies in the Withered Heath, where the dragons dwell. Um, although we're killing them all off, which is kind of interesting. And we have a male heir. We have a second male heir who I immediately disinherited. So that when my empire doesn't split apart upon death. Can you imagine losing my empire at this point? It would be a nightmare. Speaking of other things, we are seven years away from getting the third age. And then we're going straight for primogeniture. Single inheritance will be the goal in the long run. It's going to take a while to get there, though. And take quite a while. There's no amazing rush. I'm honestly the longer I wait, the stronger I get. So I'm outpacing everyone else. Mordor and the United Kingdom are constantly fighting each other, and literally everybody else is pretty much just staying in one spot. These guys haven't even fixed Bel Belgost. In the south, however, um, Umbar's dead. Umbar's dead. Ray is struggling to survive. And there's been a split in the evil factions of the south. Although these guys are huge. But not doing particularly well. Which is wonderful to see. Um, 750 gold. Yes, please. I really need to station this army somewhere. Um... Yes, replace the orc warriors. Orc warriors, or, or at least the orc rabble, will be disbanded at some point. Orc warriors are slightly better. In the end, though, we want Gundabad, Black Shields, and Trolls. Why would I build anything else? Holding Court. Okay. Steward cannot view advice. Just cut it off. My business is done. We are now considered to be recognized legitimacy. We are still two levels below where we need to be, which doesn't help. What a pain. Speaking of other things, though, we are getting very close to another legacy. Not that any legacy is going to make a world of difference, but we're getting closer. Okay, force those guys to have peace. That's getting built up. Our northern war host religion is looking pretty impressive on the map. I mean, we've got all five of our locations, which is just... I don't, can't remember last time I owned all five spots of a religion. Um, Let's... Uh, legend spread chance. No. Legitimacy gain. Eh, the plague would help a little bit. I think I'm better off actually just upgrading my old high. In the long run, better troops, better chance of winning. Be nice if the the king of Erebor would die and there'd be a prob split, but unfortunately it's all one male heir inheritance down here. Oh, the game does not make it easy to play orcs. Good credit to the mod designers for making it difficult, but not impossible to play these guys. This is the Mithril Mine. I would love to get at some point. 
be nice if you could like take a title and exchange like bribe people to swap titles with you it would be really nice it would be really really nice to be able to do Can we go mining again are we still on a delay i think we're still on a delay but let's check Oh, no, we're not. Uh, let's try mining in uh, the Mithril area once more. Apparently, though, we recorded a uh, an elf to guide us, which is very odd. Hmm. Can't imagine the orcs would do all of this. Uh, would hire an elf or even a man to lead them to go mining. Daughter has come of age. Settlement has been upgraded. We'll beat that guy in a fight with no trouble. He's of our religion, so even less of a problem. Take 30 gold to get a free favor hook. I mean, why not? Our heir is still alive for the moment. He's made it to two, so he's got about one year left to live, apparently. Um... Let's make him our, like, protected by us. Oh, wow. <laughs> this could take a little bit. There we go. Educate him as well as educate our other son, whose inheritance we currently stripped. But that's to protect him. The wife is scheming against the granddaughter. We'll hold the wife in jail. We'll let her out. Spend the night in jail for trying to murder someone else's daughter. Okay. Mining. Inspirational speech, 40% chance. Okay. Should have enough here. Okay, that's the old Kai maxed out. I'm thinking probably get rid of the orc archers. Or actually getting rid of the orc, ra orc rabble makes a ton of sense. I just got to keep an eye on the power of my vassals. Because even though I don't like it, 4,000 troops is 4,000 troops in terms of keeping subjects down. Could just replace the Orc Warriors with the Gundabad Black Shields, but I think I got better ones to do first. Okay, 46% chance of success. Colony complete. Surely we have another member of the Azog family that needs a title? Sure. Okay, and that means I can now reach the last independent orc of the Grey Mountains in a moment. We didn't do well on our mining trip. Bother. Large chance of success, but in the end we failed. Too bad. Um, oh, I gotta get home before I can declare war. Too bad. Uh, we probably need to lower stress again. Nope, can't do that yet because we're traveling. I'm gonna I'm gonna want like what a thousand something gold, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand probably. We're gonna want about five thousand gold to build another one. Six actually. My apologies. Eventually I'll get there. 
You're of the wrong religion, so she will not accept. Oh, okay. Makes life easier. Children lack guardians. Okay. Nope, oh, something has low durability. Oh, what's this? Pay ransom. Sure. Okay, that's been repaired. Come on, war. Always a good thing for us. We're almost home. There we go. Okay, let's attack this guy. Holy war. Raise men at arms. It'd be nice if you could raise specific men at arms regiments a little easier, but still. Our income actually goes up because we're at war, interestingly enough. Big fan of that. And we inherited a province that I do not want. There we go. One of the dragons was slain here. Although probably only a worm, not a proper dragon. Speaking of other things, I need to make sure I got a full complement of trebuchets before I do any other war. Why our dynasty is getting very large. Considering we almost got wiped out as a dynasty, I'm quite happy with our excess family members. Although I would like more people to have to give me money. Still not bad for uh, getting like four or five hundred gold just from all of that. Let's ditch the orc rabble once we win the war. Victory is ours. Disband all. Thunderclef can go to... Our grandson. Oh, and we got some loot. Destroy that. That was it, apparently. Uh, we don't need regalia. Okay. We need the title, I believe. Title of the Grey Mountains. There we go. Integrate the war clans of the Grey Mountains. Done. Ever since the drakes drove out the dwarves, the orcs and goblins of the Grey Mountains have largely remained idle there. But they did hear the heed the call of Bolg to avenge the great goblin and join their army to ours in the Battle of the Five Armies. We shall reward them by integrating them into our growing realm and consolidating the Grey Mountains as an extension of Gundabad. Dragon's Durability. During the campaigns to bring the dragon worshippers under the of the Grey Mountains under my dominion, many battles were fought, much plunder was had. Ancient banners, rusted weapons aplenty, and not insignificant amounts of gold and silver. Yet, it is only now the campaign has ended that we have found a prize truly worthy of my magnificence. While my lackeys were searching through the ancient holds, trying to sniff out any stragglers, they uncovered an old abandoned warren. Initially deemed of little worth, in its depths was discovered a dragon shrine. On the altar was laid a great armor, wrought of the shed scales of many dragons, of brilliant hues. What is this, if not another sign I am destined for true greatness? Another symbol of my great power. I am the dragon who rules these mountains now. And yeah, the dragon scale ones significantly better than what we had the prowess goes down but everything else is better 
and we will smoke a bit. Okay, so we should have two temporary armies, and we will get rid of the orc rabble. Bye. And we will instead raise another old high, which means we've got a long time to upgrading that. But that's okay. We can last. There's no huge rush, especially now that Thranduil just gave me 1,500 gold. Thank you, Thranduil. And we will build up there. That's an army for us. A proper army. How good are the... Doodale is decent, but nothing great. We probably could overrun them, but let's, let's, let's build up some cash first. I don't think I got any other real payments I want to snag here. Although I might snag some 15s. Oh, there was a 50. Give me that. This is the benefit of having your entire dynasty as your vassals. You can just go and tax farm them as needed. Uh, 170. Okay. Did we just... We just claim that we're linguistic cult cousins with these guys, but being orcish, they still want us dead. Um, wouldn't be surprised. Oh, the player error has reached five. Maybe he'll get to six. Fingers crossed. Oh, here we go. The aunt-in-law is scheming against the son. Locked you up. There we go. She's scheming for her husband, apparently. Can't allow that. Eh, who cares about that? Oh. Son was still murdered. Okay. Bother. See, I knew he was going to get murdered. It's almost like there's a guaranteed tick, ticking modifier that is eventually going to kill your heirs. Um, this guy here, somebody here, was not following the right religion. Or maybe they just haven't converted it yet. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. We need a large chunk of gold. Um, hmm. Go mining, maybe? Can we go mining? We're not had any luck trying to go mining in uh, Moria. On the other hand, eight months, if we could succeed, it would give us a huge amount of cash, I imagine. Several thousand. That's almost done. That's converting. This needs to be upgraded. There's always the need for more money in our empire, isn't there? Anyhow, we're moving right along. Crushing Erebor would be really nice. Honestly, I might go for Erebor before Dale. Just because if we can crush Erebor, then we've got the mountains. Speaking of which, um, how do we do this, Avenge? We need to... Oh. We need to take Erebor, Dale, the Dale ends, and take out Thranduil. Or Thranduil. Okay, I got a truce with him for 14 years. Well, it'll probably take about 14 years to annihilate Dale and Erebor, so. Yeah, we don't want to go hold a joust. Although I will reinstate some inactive accolades, I think. And that's the only one I can do. Oh, well. It is something. Be nice if some of my vassals would actually colonize the mountains. 
but they don't seem to be willing to do so. Okay, found some something. Oh, guess what? The Balrog must be raging because <sighs> my settlements are getting wiped out. Can we kill the Balrog? No. Hmm. We could worship them, but we'd have to be of the Cult of the Dark Flame. <sighs> Bother. Okay. Nothing we can do there. Just going to lose those territories if we give them to anybody. Although I wonder if we give him to somebody outside, like myself, if we could then control Moria from within. I may have to give the titles to somebody outside of Moria. And hope they don't just um, move into Moria. Oh, speaking of which, though. Uh... Aha, this is now available to be colonized. I just don't order it anymore. Hmm. Okay, so we could work our way to a mithril vein if we really want to. Okay. Really hard to colonize Moria if that Balrog struggle never ends. I mean, what's the options? We, we we move a dwarf in and give him the territory and hope he kills the Balrog? None of those seem like a smart move. Okay. Noticeable reduction in my income. And now we can't go mining in the mithril mines because we're not there. Uh, that oh, that's only two away. I think that's closer than that one. Fifty golds. Ah, another fifty golds. Okay. We don't need much more, do we? We just need this leveled up a little bit. This is a level 20 development little mine here, so... Should be done fairly quickly, I'd imagine. But that will be it for this episode. We're working our way towards a mithril mine. Um, annoying that we lost the rest of Moria. Probably next episode we'll go pick a fight with Erebor because their ruler is ailing and their heir has no money. So thank you guys all for watching. See you all next time as we probably beat up dwarves. See you guys all then. Bye for now.